Hey guys, I'm Jodian from Yard Soul Productions and I will be showing you how to make a regular size cushion. We tend to find 16 by 16 or 18 by 18 for regular size cushions in, in the stores. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do the 16 by 16. So I have my fabric, which is a very pretty, pretty color. You can see. And you have, remember you're gonna need your tape measure, your scissors, your tailor's chalk, your pin cushions, and of course, if your fabric is rumpled, you're going to need to press. Now we're going to measure. I'll turn it on the side so that when you're marking you will be messing up your inside your, your fabric here all right let's turn it over and we're gonna measure so because it's going to be a 16 by 16 cushion you want to give it a one inch you know to um for, for seam allowance. To measure from the next side. Seventy inches. Use your tailor's chart to mark. And remember, it is only seventeen inches because you need extra seam allowance. To, you need seam allowance to um finish off your. a bit off so I'm going to straighten that out all right so remember you're going to need a long ruler or we call this a meter stick to give you that straight edge all right and remember we're going to take it off right here as so not exactly on. okay there we go and then we're going to cut. So now we're going to stitch our sides together. Leave, and we're going to also leave an opening so that when we're finished, we'll be putting in our pillow insert, our stuffing, our stuffing, cool? All right, so let's go. So we're gonna be closing up the sides with a half inch seam allowance. Remember when you're sewing, you to do that back tuck when you start. And then you finish so that you don't, your thread is not easily raveled. Yeah. 
cushions can be pretty simple to make as well as depending on the style you know the person wants a fussy look okay and i haven't left out any openings so i'm gonna to have to do the opening right here so you back tap so you bring that based on the amount of space you can uh, you to allow, allow your hands to go through so And that's it for stitching the sides. Okay, so now we're going to turn out our cushion bag or whatever you call it. That does the the fabric and it's out there you have it or a 16 by 16 cushion bag now for inserting the filling. So now we're going to fill our cushion with polyfill. Um, you can find this at Pings. I'm sure about Pings, um, but probably you can check other fabric stores as well. So now for So what you're gonna do when you finish stuffing, you see the opening right here, gonna just close it up to where the seams, um, the seam is closed and you're gonna just run a flat stitch along the edge so it won't be all that visible. So we're just gonna pin this together to make it fold closer. Then you're gonna put it under the machine. Push it right along the edge right there. See that? Can you see that? Alright. Here, just a half inch behind the seam that is closed. Try not to sew over your pins because it sometimes can blunt your needle and damage the pin as well. And just finishing up this right here. Remember to always back top. So this is our finished product. Our 16 by 16 cushion. You can just play with it and kind of get it loose now. So look in the shape that you want it to be. This can be in on your bed. You can put it in your sofa or even in your room. If the chair, you know, some people keep chairs in their room. You can just rest it in there with a, a nice little throw, you know, a throw pillow with a little, you know what I mean? Yeah, at Yarsil Productions, we love doing these stuff. You can make them as gifts too, you know, you know. All right, so remember to like this video, share it, you know, comment and tell us what you think, you know, and you can even give hints of what you want to see too, you know. That's it for now. Thanks guys. I'm Jodian from Yourself Productions and